Corsair Glaive, huh? What the heck is a glaive? If I had to guess, it sounds like a weird way of saying glove with an accent. Well, if the glaive fits, let's Google it. Uh, it looks like a sword on a pole. Okay, I can't see the resemblance, but uh, that doesn't mean that this isn't a bad mouse. In fact, it's a pretty dang good one. So let's check it out. Now, it's not often that a new gaming mouse will generate a ton of buzz, but when the Glaive launched, it seemed like everyone was talking about it. And after using it for a while, I determined that the buzz appeared to be justified. A great all-around gaming mouse with bonus modularity for $69.99 US, Psh! But hey, I can't just give away my conclusion at the start, so let's have a look at this thing. The Glaive has a nice matte black finish all around with a textured grip on the right. It's got RGB LEDs just above that grip, on the front in an exhaust vent looking design, and on the left in a glossy strip, and of course, the Corsair logo on the back. It's also got grip on the left side. Or not. Or it's got even more grip. What is this madness? Here we have kind of the most interesting thing about the Glaive, it's modular grip design. It comes with three swappable thumb grips, the first with a slim matte finish, the second with a bit more bulk and grippiness, and the third with a wider grippy profile that also has a little bump on the bottom so you can use it to move the whole mouse. The grips are magnetic, so they're super easy to swap on and off, and though they seem like minor changes, they really do significantly change the way the mouse feels. I personally preferred the middle option, but I enjoyed swapping them on and off to find out which one worked best. Now, above the swappable grip are the very pronounced forward and back buttons. There's also a DPI switch button below the scroll wheel, and obviously the primary and secondary buttons for a total of five fully programmable buttons. Those primary and secondary clickers use Omron switches rated for a healthy 50 million clicks. Beside the DPI switch are five indicator lights, which helpfully let you know which DPI level the mouse is currently at. The aluminum scroll wheel is very clicky with texturized rubber, which I personally prefer. And on the front, we've got a very securely attached six foot long braided cable. Ah, oh, the bottom, we haven't seen that yet. We've got very wide Teflon pads, which let the mouse glide pretty effortlessly, flanking a custom PixArt PMW367 optical sensor with up to 16,000 DPI. So you have that option if you have the motor control of an advanced cyborg from the future. This sensor also enables you to adjust the Glaive's DPI by increments as low as one. So you can really fine tune this bad boy using Corsair's software, more on that in a bit. And it's got a one millisecond polling rate, which gets you a pretty much lag free response. Now the mouse itself weighs 122 grams, which is a little on the heavier side, but definitely not the heaviest mouse I've tried. I should note this is the aluminum version, as you can see. There's also a black version, but the two models are actually the same weight. Uh, the Glaive measures 125.8 by 91.5 by 44.6 millimeters, which is about 4.9 by 3.6 by 1.8 inches. I'm used to using relatively small mice, and mostly I use a claw grip, so this mouse felt a bit on the fatter side, although the slimmest matte thumb grip significantly slims its profile. Now, onto that software we were talking about. The Glaive uses the Corsair Utility Engine, like most of Corsair's products, where you can assign custom actions to the five buttons, choose which RGB lighting pattern you want for the four LED zones, including Corsair Lighting Link to synchronize with compatible Corsair RGB products, and you can adjust DPI settings for each of the five levels, not including the additional Sniper DPI setting. The Glaive also supports surface calibration, so you can get more accurate control on whatever mouse pad or non-mouse pad you're using it on. And if you spend all that time setting everything up just the way you like it, the Glaive has onboard storage for user profiles, so you can plug it into any PC and have it behave the exact same way whether or not Corsair software is installed. Now, time for some final thoughts. The Glaive appears to be a great all-around gaming mouse. Solid build quality, great switches, custom super accurate sensor, and you know you gotta have that RGB lighting. <laughs> but the swappable thumb grips definitely add some more value to the mouse. If you're spending some cash on a good gaming mouse, it's nice to know you're not locked into one particular feel once you get it. Truly, doing this review kind of felt like testing out three separate, albeit very similar, Mice. So lots of pros in there. Um, in terms of cons, honestly, there's not much I can say. I will say even with the thinnest grip, the Glaive was still a little wide for my taste. But as I said, I do prefer smaller, thinner mice from the get-go. But even then, I 
got used to this, and I feel like having a more solid grip might have even helped me play better in Overwatch when I was using it for that. If you like medium or large mice, then the size might be perfect for you. One other thing is the five customizable buttons are nice, but it would have been cool to see one or two more, or even the ability to hold one of them to enable double functions like Rocket's shift system. I really like that. And one last thing to note, the Corsair logo appears to get slightly warm after a while. Not like hot, but just so you barely notice it. It's almost imperceptible. Uh, I just thought it was my hand warming the mouse initially, but uh, just so you're aware and don't buy this thing and then you're like, oh, is this thing gonna explode? Or it, it won't explode. Although I probably shouldn't make that promise. I don't think it will explode. If you are interested in the Corsair Glaive, the link to buy is in the corner of the video there and down in the description. And with that, this video, like all things, must come to an end. Thanks for watching, guys. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over there. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now I'm going to go attack Jack and Baird with this thing and tell them they got glaived. See how well that goes over. See ya.